All right, three, a two, a one. Merry Christmas! Oh wait, that's not how it goes. Good morning, everybody. It's Minna and Beyond. Welcoming you back to the world of Let's Play Ballet Renee. In the last episode, we got to yet another semester midterm recital sort of thing of a hoozy, as if you were expecting anything else at this point. But maybe you weren't expecting today's guest commentator. Can you introduce yourself? Hello, um, I'm Skirts. I'm here to learn about ballet. We're gonna learn everything about ballet. We're near the end, so we're about to learn everything. We're gonna become masters if we've not become masters already. So I hope you're prepared. Way to, <laughs> way to ease me into it. Yeah, well, you're one of the most talented professional people I know, so Aww. I know that you're the one for the job for this. <laughs> All right, well, I'll try not to let you down. All right, so then we could just head into uh, the bedroom as soon as it finishes loading. We got ourselves oh another new outfit. Uh, we got two new outfits, I believe. So, oh, uh, there's a fairy this outfit. One. Did we unlock the fairy outfits. We basically beat the game, but this is all just after game stuff. Um, I don't know why I noticed this while editing the last episode. Just for the classic costume, does she like get like a mole on her face just when she wears that outfit? Oh, you see it? yeah, yeah, yeah. In like the 480p we goodness or whatever it just look like it looks like she has like a really like menacing smirk she's like mm -hmm. nee, nee. Uh -huh. something like that so i think this is the new outfit that we got so we're gonna show that off in this one and then we're gonna get acquainted in the the history and the literature by catching up on our studies now question is did it save my did we read anything in the last episode? I did not mean to click that. Close the book, please. Thank you. Everything is so pink and purple. Mm -hmm. I don't think we read La Bavadere, so we could go ahead and open this up. And if you could do us the honors of reading the story of La Bavadere. Oh boy. Um, One of the Raja's noble warriors, Salor, is madly in love with Nakia, one of the... Oh god. Be oh my god. Beaderes? I think so. Sure. Uh, the Beaderes, dancers and keepers of the sacred fire, but the Raja offers the hand of his daughter, Gamari, to Salor, who can't refuse. During the celebration, Nakia dances in front of the guests. Aya, Gamari's servant, presents a basket of flowers to the Beadere, in which a snake is concealed. Which <laughs> fatally bites Nakia. Oh god. The great Brahmin intervenes to offer Nakia an anti-venom if she agrees to belong to him. Rejecting this possibility and seeing that Salor will not give up Gamadi, the Bayadere lets herself die and curses them. Salor, grief-stricken by Nakia's death, takes refuge in his dreams and sees the ghosts of dead Bayaderes appear to him, among which... If Nakia, or is Nakia, who forgives him? Hooray! That was such a cheerful story. Yeah, I feel really good about things right now. <laughs> yeah. So now we got Ballet Pioneers. Uh, not sure how many we have here. We got one, okay. Uh, Marie Calendars. Mar oh, like I love her Alfredo. Yeah. Let's go ahead and read about that. <laughs> you want me to do it again? If you will, if you'd be so kind. <laughs> All right. Uh, daughter from a dynasty of dancers and a choreographer father, she studied dance with her father in Vienna, then traveled with him to Cassell. St Stuttgart? <laughs> Stuttgart? Stutt Sounds like a Pokemon. Stuttgart! And Munich, and finally Paris, where the father and daughter were involved in the ballet and the opera, creating a sensation. Marie created the ballet... La Sylph... La Sylphide? Listen, this is not... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyway, the renown of La Tag... Taglioni spreads throughout Europe. Marie leaves behind <laughs> a perfect mastery of the art and an aerial technique. Elegant and refined, she is simultaneously a virtuoso technician and subtle mime artist. Moving and lively, but always expressive. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm good at words. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Professional wordsmith yeah. you are. So now that all that's taken care of, we're all acquainted with the arts of the literature. Are we going to dance now? Oh, yeah, we're going to dance now. Oh, my gonna God. going to dance the loading screen dance. Oh. 
Head into the Costco. Oh, wait, we're talking first. Oh. Someone wants to talk to us. It's Madame Olga. Is everyone here? No, no, Madame Olga, Sophia is sitting here. <laughs> what? She didn't come? What? That girl is becoming more and more undisciplined. I guess we must destroy her now. Okay, so let's go ahead without her. Life is made of choices, and Sophia has made hers. I thought Sophia was her favorite. Me too! Dominico. I mean, Mr. Dominico. Had a meeting with the mayor, and to celebrate the anniversary of Rose Meadow, we are going to present a ballet performance at the John France Opera. Oh! Ah! Oh. But nothing is certain at the moment. Dominico, the uh, Mr. Dominico, Ooh, she's blushing. is still in talks with the mayor. Between now and then, concentration and discipline, young ladies, the keys to success. Yes, Madame Olga. Miss Olga, I'm sensing an attraction. Miss Olga blushes whenever she talks about Dominico. I mean, Mr. Dominico. <laughs> Mr. Dominico Riviera, how could you resist? Now, to work. Before thinking about the opera, we have to present La Simplicité at the Rose Meadow Theater. Goodbye. I'm glad you're good at words, too. <laughs> I didn't mean to hijack all the voices for, for that scene. Those are just three characters I voiced throughout the selfie, and everyone else is voiced by the guests. Hopefully you find... Well, we'll have another scene. If you, you if can... you spot a new character or something, just pass them off to me. I, I don't mind. Yes, you will, you will take the stand and show everyone... All of your amazing acting glory that you are so well known for. I oh well, <laughs> can't let people down. <laughs> so now we're heading to the actual dance lessons, and this is the portion where uh, you could take the stage and tell everyone who are you and what do you do. Oh, all right. Just, just talk about me. Anything you want to share to oh, the class my about you? Oh gosh. Um. Well. I'm, my name is Allison, and I currently live in Los Angeles, and I draw cartoons all day, um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, uh, uh I have, like, uh, I have a couple new jobs I'm doing, some video game stuff, so that's cool. <laughs> it's super cool. Yeah, um, and then... I don't know. I just I do like commissions and stuff, and uh, I sell I sell prints and I do conventions. And now that um, the world is slowly returning to normal, uh, I've been able to apply for more conventions. So that's exciting. Cause yeah, I miss I miss life, don't you? Mm hmm. Miss it indeed. You vaxxed? Yes, I am vaxxed. Yeah! Yes! Yeah. Vaxxed buddies! Heck yes. So yeah, um... I don't know. My life's kind of boring though. I don't really have a whole lot to uh, report on, I guess. I rearranged my Pokemon plush collection the other day. That was pretty exciting. Um... That's exciting. Yeah. Do you have um, any, like, favorite plushies? Oh, Um, I've got a couple- Are they all in first place? <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm quite fond of my little- Pokey doll ho oh because he's like small and round. And then I love Chikorita and my Frokies. And I have a big fat Kirby who's not a Pokemon, but I love him. <laughs> I used to think Kirby was a Pokemon back in the day because I got introduced to him through Smash Bros. I'm like, this is just all jiggly Right. right? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so I don't know. I I hosted a um bachelorette viewing party last night it was like my first time having friends over in over a year um and we we watched the bachelorette of course we don't take it seriously so don't don't get any misconceptions about that there was a lot of uh making fun of the bachelorette which is very easy to do so that was good that was good can i give a recommendation if you enjoy uh cringe watching, watching the bachelorette oh yeah 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 so there's this glorious show that is criminally underrated. It's on it's on YouTube for free. It's called Genuine Ken. Have you ever heard of it? Yep. You have? Yeah. You 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 want to be chosen? I, I love reality TV. 
Like I, oh I really I'm love. So it. happy you know what it yeah, is. Yeah, I, I definitely. It's been a, it's been a minute, but I, I am aware of it. <laughs> I think I've like introduced that show to someone new every year yeah. for like, the past five years. <laughs> so I'm just watching it. Keep year. up the good work. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> it is so good. Hell yeah! I'm watching. Um, I think it's called Are You the One right now, and it is. It's not. It's crap. But it's like the kind of crap that you can't stop watching. Um, it's not the one. <laughs> yeah, it's not the one. Um, and then I watched, I watched a couple seasons of Love Island, but that show is rough. I don't know. It's it's so long. It's like thirty episodes long. It, it's like <laughs> it's like a lot of commitment if you just really want to suffer. Um, so I don't know. That I wouldn't I wouldn't start there. But if you if you have the stomach for it then definitely go with the, you know, I think Australia is better than the UK and as far as entertainment is concerned. Um, mm -hmm. Gosh. I'm just thinking about all the, all the crap I've wasted in my life watching, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, I need like, the only reason I get through so much of this garbage is because I just sit at home drawing all day and I can't watch like good television because like I'll just sit and watch it and I won't get any work done. So if there's just yeah, like... Yeah, just like, it's impossible multitask when it's good stuff. Right, because I'll just put the pen down and be like super invested. So like, I put on, you know, Hoarders and um, my 600 pound life <laughs> botched. That botched is a fun, mm -hmm. I like that one. The doctors are funny. Anyway, I just put those on in the background and it's just like, the, I, I can get so much done by just listening to them i don't have to really like hone in so anyway shout out to all my reality tv homies out there <laughs> i know you exist <laughs> we appreciate you and hopefully they'll make a reality show based on this game because everyone's been asking for it and hopefully our time will come or it'll become more well known oh yeah yeah. Who would you cast as a, if a Let's Play Ballerina reality TV show? Who would I cast? Into existence. Yeah. Who would you cast? Who would you want to see partake in ballet? Uh, oh, if it were like a celebrity ballet? Or just anyone. Like like your mailman or My someone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. Dude, I don't know. Uh... I can't think of anybody. Who would you want to see? Okay. Tell me. You probably have. You've been thinking about this longer. You've been playing this game for a while. <laughs> I've, I've been thinking about it all. Yeah, I was all like, night. you can't just throw a curveball at me. Okay, you go. Tell me. Uh, uh. Pressure. Like, I don't got anyone either. <laughs> I'm a what sham. About, okay, 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 okay. Uh, all, all the Viznomatic people. How's that? Yes, that's what the that's what this the thumbnails for every episode has been. It's just been like some professional ballet photo shoot, but just a business face on top of it. There you go. Yeah, I could see. Um, I would love to see Hunter try some ballet in like a plaid a plaid ballet outfit. I I'm telling you, we're gonna recreate all of it. We're gonna bring it to life. Ina, you have a visitor. A visitor, but who could it be? Oh no. You want to voice Kenji? Uh, sure. <laughs> Hi, Anna. Kenji, what are you doing here? I can't believe my eyes when 10 million fireflies. You know, we dance ballet here. I know. I'll try not to look. You shouldn't give me to you to me when you didn't want to be just a same performance. She's joking, Penelope. I'll never get used to a sense of humor. I have to leave. I need to get ready and cry about it. Okay, bye. So, are you going to tell me what you're doing here? Uh, I wanted to get to know your world. A whole new world? And, uh, who knows? I might catch the ballet bug. Bleh. <laughs> His little tongue. You? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just casual tonnage. Tonnage, what? Ken Kenji Tanaka, ballet dancer, and the next Marius Petipa? You don't think? Who? <laughs> I don't know. 
Uh, but if that means I get to go out with pretty girls, why not? You're incredible, Kenji. Such an appealing character. Thanks. I work hard on it. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I can't wait to see you on stage. You won't like it. I'm sure I will. Because you'll be there. Speaking of the stage, don't you have to go soon? Yes, and you too. In the hall, if you want to watch me dance. Goodbye. As Kenji fades into oblivion. I know, he was like fading away, you could see the background behind yeah, him. Yeah, he's <laughs> We're gonna find out in the end of the game, Kenji's a ghost! Oh! Ooh. Man, um, I feel like I started Kenji, and he was like goofy, and then he just slowly turned into something else, so I apologize for that. <laughs> Ken Kenji's an enigma, we're still trying to figure him out and everything. Yeah, we're learning. Oh look, they're in plaid! <laughs> I, that's Hunter's outfit. I was just thinking. I was like, did they- We're gonna slow down here in the final area, what the frick? <laughs> That's not the capture card, it's the actual game. Oh. It's like it can't handle the epic dance performances. <laughs> oh, Look no. at all Hopefully the scary, we'll like, the, the, the little ink men in the back. They're like little uh, faceless black blobs. I'm trying to picture everyone in, in their underwear, but instead it's just like a, a onesie. It's a bunch of heartless. A shadowy onesie. It's a heartless Sora. <laughs> no. You gotta defeat the darkness. Oh, spin, spin, spin me right round, baby, right round. Like a Wii Remote video game right now. Do you have any dancing history from your own personal life that you could share for, like, inspiration oh, during mm, this difficult moment? Mm, honestly, the only time was... I was probably five years old. And uh, I was in, like, a... I don't know, this little little girl dancing troupe and we had like the crazy outfits you know like the 90s puff and um mm -hmm. i don't remember much except for this horrific event in which i spaced out because that's just what i do and i was supposed to like i was on stage and i remember like looking out at the audience and seeing like 10 million people when it probably wasn't that many people but it looked like 10 million people and i was supposed to like do a somersault with everybody like in unison and i just like I was like shocked and I was like staring out at the audience like like a deer in the headlights and like everyone started laughing because of course it's like if you're an adult sitting in an audience looking at these like silly four or five year olds like and one of them is just like sit standing there with the her mouth agape you're gonna laugh because it's cute but I was like horrified <laughs> and I I just like ran off stage I don't know that's the only memory of dance I have <laughs> What a glorious memory. I was I was just like horrified. But like we have really funny pictures of like me and all my outfits with like crazy blush and stuff. Oh. And it's like really cute. But yeah, I, I was just like I was freaked out. I don't I don't remember actually dancing. I was just standing there like terrified. <laughs> it was a state of mind. Yeah, I don't know. But uh I don't uh I don't like dancing. I'm not a dancer. I uh my my boyfriend gets really mad at me because he's like, I don't understand why you don't. What's wrong with you? You don't like dancing, like at all? Because I like cringe. He'll start dancing and I'll cringe and like stop. <laughs> Is he super into dancing? He'll like he'll dance like silly, but like I even that I'm like I can't. St I I just can't handle dancing. I just I don't know. My mom even said when I was a baby that like she she dance silly in front of me and i would like <laughs> you baby was like disapproving yeah i had like the like the worst baby grimace and she's like you were judging me like so hard like you hated it <laughs> and i told dan i told dan i was like i'm really sorry for like the way i react to dancing and that i like am physically repulsed by it like i won't dance um i was born this way so please don't uh please don't judge me because i've always been like I this, was born this way. i know i've always hated it and i don't know why i just I, and i have this weird affinity for cringe like i love i i love hate watching cringe and i think it's just this thing that i was like born with just that i i just like i don't i don't know how to explain it honestly it's really weird but <laughs> that's a little a little tidbit about me <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I I do like DDR though. Oh yeah, DDR is great. But I don't feel I don't feel like that's like dancing because I'm not like wiggling around. I'm just stomping. Uh huh. And I was a rave I was a rave kid in in uh, high school, which 
again, it doesn't feel like... It doesn't really feel like dancing. It's, like, different. DDR and Rave is, like, you just flail and stomp around. I think I haven't... I have an issue with, like, the sensuality of dancing. I'm like, I can't. I won't. I won't go there. I won't go there. Can't make me. I'll never do it. <laughs> but, but, if you put on, uh, If you put on some Captain Jack, I will stomp around. Gladly. That's, that's as far- that's, <laughs> that's as far as it'll go. Hey, yo, Captain we Jack! We got a platinum? What? What? That's exciting. Okay. I'm proud of you. Apparently- I'm proud of I'm proud of us. Dude, you're this was a group effort. <laughs> Your finesse is five out of five. It's the best my finesse has ever been. Oh my god. Wow. This is actually this is our second to last performance on the stage ever. Wow. And I'm just I'm getting really emotional. Yeah. So everyone who helped me all the way. Yeah, you've you've been through a lot. Thank you for helping me. Yeah. Thanks for helping me get here. <laughs> oh, it's it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Academy. The Ballerina Academy? Like thank... Yeah. Well, do you think Sophia will be here this time? I have no idea. She's been so strange lately. I hope for her sake she's not ruining her chances. Ah! Oh. What was Sophia? Uh, sure. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Sophia, what's wrong? Normally you only talk to us when you want to criticize and give us orders, and here you are saying hello. I know, I haven't always been nice to you. I'm sorry. You sorry? You don't understand. Okay, explain. It's because of a scholarship that I was able to be accepted at the Belaya Bil Dance Academy. What? And all this pressure to be the best and prove that I deserved the scholarship, I guess it went to my head. How do you mean exactly? I mean, I wasn't myself. I refused. Any friendship out of fear of not reaching my goal. I thought having friends would hold me back, but I was wrong. I say. And now, I'm sorry. I regret not getting to know you. I know, it's too late. Sophia, wait! We still got like two more episodes left. I'm Anna Ashton. Penelope Martinez. And you? <gasps> <laughs> I, I'm Sevilla Ivano Ivanova. <laughs> oh, pleased to meet you. Thank you both. Sorry for the slight delay, Dominique. Oh, Mr. Dominico just announced the big news to us. Oh, the Jane Free Tour for last ballet, the Nutcracker Suite, and for the occasion, Anna will be our prima ballerina. Congratulations! Me? Oh! Th thank you! Thanks, Madame Olga! <laughs> no need to thank me. You truly deserve it. We win and it's incredible! I'm happy for you. Anna! Uh. I... Yes? I congratulate you. You deserve it. Really. Thank you, Sophia. Goodbye. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> final boss fight is coming up. <laughs> Sophia! <laughs> it's our final training. A new costume is available! Oh, boy. We have to see what it is right now. Yes, Hurry up. Go to the store. <laughs> Go to the boutique. So many chapters. Okay. Head in there. This might be our sec this might be our last visit to the to the Repetto boutique. Oh. Just oh. 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 The anticipation. Hi, I'm Paul. Eventually, one day. Imagine if the game crashed. Yeah. <laughs> the dress is too high poly for this game. 
Is it that? It's too powerful. No, we got that one. We got that one. We got that. Is it time for the bee? The bumblebee. Is it time for the bee? It's time for the bee! We got the bee! There it is. We got the bee. Do we get any other ones? We got the bee. We got the bee. Yeah! We got the bee! Sorry. Give me a bee! <laughs> okay. You have all the dresses now. It's very exciting. This is so exciting. I know. This is what dreams are made of. This is what we've been fighting for this whole time. Yeah, it's all worth it. I can't believe it. Thanks for helping me get to this point in my life. Yeah, I'm glad I could I, witness I it. Can't, I can't believe it. But we finally made it. Yay. We can we can be the bee in ballerina. Yay. As soon as the loading is finished. Now we get to watch the spinning girl in the corner. Oh. It'd be, be a very difficult uh, dance to pull off. Just like freezing just, over and over. But you have to stay like on your tiptoe. Just the one foot. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh my god, there's more! Okay, so we also unlocked the, the Silafeed oh. one we can use whenever we want. And then... The Bumblebee! Oh my god, it's so cute! Bee movie to confirm. <laughs> Look at the little antenna. We have three outfits left. Two in the store, and one in our final performance. We are going to catch them all, and be the very best Ballet Renee the world has ever seen. The world isn't ready. It isn't ready. But we're going to get ready, get set, and go, go, go in the next episode. So thanks for um, hanging out with me and making all this possible. It was great getting to talk with you. I know, it was really nice. And it was uh, interesting to play this. <laughs> Wii games, there's always something going on with a Wii game. They're, they're a, a true treasure. They really are. So thank you for... Uh showing me <laughs> any like last words of advice or words of wisdom they could give us as we go our separate ways oh geez um uh 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 get lots of rest uh be nice to yourself and uh pet a dog if you see one but ask first if it's not yours <laughs> mm -hmm. i don't know and most importantly <laughs> Be yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't forget that, okay? Oh, also, warning. There's going to be a boba tea shortage, so go get boba tea now, everyone, because <laughs> you're going to be without for a while. There's a boba apocalypse coming up? Yeah, the bo bo apocalypse is, is coming. I'm not I'm not kidding. It's happening. It's, it's very it's scary. I'm, I'm not ready for it, but just, you know, putting it out there. <laughs> well, we'll be sure to fuel up so we're ready for the road ahead. Yes. Next time on Let's Play Ballet Renee, we're going to shove a bunch of bee puns into this LP before it's over. Yay! This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. Bye.